Hello, um, I've truly run out of ideas since I'm making a tutorial. Please excuse the fan in the background. It's California, and it's summer, and we have no fan. Or, no, like, properly working AC. So, let's do a camera shake tutorial. Alright, so one thing we can do is we can just use the Blender default cube. Um, or we can not do that. Uh, so we're going to be using AV for this. I don't know. I'll just turn on all of these stuff because he, yes, just in case I'm like mess around with modifiers. Motion blur makes everything look like AIDS, but hey, it adds more impact, I guess. So uh, hopefully you already have a basic knowledge of Blender 2.8. If not, well, <laughs> well, I'm not teaching you the basics, so uh, yeah. Basically, uh, what we're going to want to do is, here's the camera we're going to be using. Just press 0 on the numpad or press the tilde key and go to view camera. And boom, you have all this stuff. You can easily do this, I like this. I'm going to go to solid view real quick. So, right now, how do we get the camera shake effect without, you know, you might think, oh yeah, just animated yourself, dummy. Well, no. Unless you have the time and patience. What we are going to do is, ah, jeez, I'm so used to having to using multiple monitors. What we're going to do is use the graph editor. If I can find it right here. Okay. So put the camera selection. Go to transform settings. And we're going to do it with rotation. So do rotation. Wait. That was location. So do like rotation X and Z. And you can see why. So now now that we have that, we can... I have no idea where they are, but whatever. So we'll make some more space. So we'll just press N to bring this up. And um, it would be handy. Oh, it's like, okay, it's right here. So this is rotation X, so... What we need to do is go to modifiers and add a noise modifier. And uh, kind of increase the scale, so it's kind of stretched out. And maybe bring down the strength if you just want it subtle. If you just want a subtle camera shake. So now, here, we'll do the same here. Noise, bring down, bring up the scale. And then bring down the string. Uh, maybe a little less scale. So let's go into the rendered view and kind of preview it. So if you notice something, it's going diagonally. That's not that's not what we want, right? No. That's why the offset uh, thing is here. So you can easily offset it. So it's like different, and then it's not diagonal. You know, it's kind of this is kind of a more of a subtle camera of shake. If it's more for like if you don't want the scene to be too boring, but if it's like an action sequence, I'll just bring the strength up a little. Maybe maybe the scale down. If you want more like on both. So just move do the offset. So that's kinda like so you get nice action, you know, you get a nice camera shake effect. So yeah, just do whatever you want. Like seriously, do whatever you want. Uh, I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, yeah, this is what you should do. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Add 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 death if you want. Like, if you want an earthquake kind of scene, but, okay. So, yeah, just play around a little bit, and I realize I'm actually kind of having fun doing this. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, you can just render whenever you feel like. And you can do this with anything. You can, you can, it works with like anything. You can even do it with the FOV if you really feel like it. So just go here, or the focal length, whatever. There's field of view, but I'll just do focal length. And so just <laughs> add the noise modifier if. If you want it to like kind of zoom in sometimes, just a little bit. If I wanted to like zoom in that, zoom in and out, then you have that if you want like to convey that the character or whatever you're focusing on is drunk. And now, if you want like a little more control, what you can do is go to like. You know, maybe I don't want to spike up this much. Insert a, insert a keyframe on the selected channel, and then let's kind of modify it. Maybe this is how how you do it. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not like a Blender master. Not Blender guru. Certainly not. But you can just do whatever you want. Um, I don't care, it's completely procedural, so <laughs> you don't really have to do anything yourself. I guess I can clear keyframes. So, yeah, that's how you do a camera shake effect in Blender 2.8. And um, you can just render with render animation. I should, probably do, I should probably do a ducky 3D and show you how to render kind of heavier path here. Um... And then change from PNG to FFmpeg, then encoding to MPEG4. And then change it to like high quality, or if you want it uncompressed, you can just go with AVI. AVI JPEG or AVI RAW. I don't care what you do, but if you just want an MP4, then this is what you do. So. Yeah. Cool, I might do more Blender tutorials, um, if I really feel like it. So, yeah, that's all.